Hello YouTube, this is Russian Toys here, and today's video is going to be the long-awaited tortoise video on how to increase the substrate depth, depth um, in a certain part of the tortoise cage. I've been waiting to do this video for a long time, I just didn't have the right idea until just now, before I thought I'd build the box that I want to increase the depth width out of wood, but now I know that I'm going to build it I'm not going to build it, I just bought a plastic bin, a rubber made plastic bin, and I'm going to use that. The reason I'm not using wood to make a box to increase substrate depth is because uh, it will be a lot of work and the wood might rot if you, not treat it if you don't treat it properly. So I recommend using plastic, just don't put it anywhere near a heat source because it might melt there. Um, and basically the idea of this is to put a box that's deeper than what your substrate is, is um, on the cold end of the aquarium where the tortoise's hut is and then filling it with topsoil which I, which I also just bought and giving the tortoise more area to dig, um, dig and burrow herself in. Because if you do this in the whole, um, whole cage, the, tor the tortoise cage might get too heavy for the stand or the floor even. So um, it's just a simpler way to do this and it also might not not as much substrate might fit into your cage. If you have a vivarium for example there's a very small height of substrate you can put in there. So this really is a solution for people that want to have their, let the tortoise have a lot of fun digging but they can't fill the whole cage. And there's multiple sizes of this container. I just bought a size that the hut just barely fits on and um, the tortoise has about 10 centimeters in the front so really it's just for her to dig herself under her hut because what I observe, observe with my tortoise is that she really enjoys to dig in her hut but really nowhere else in the cage so um, yeah that's why I'm only having this small container also you want to have a container that fits in your cage I went I measured my cage my tortoise's cage before I went out to buy this container so you really want to do that take a um, meter stick along with you and the uh, measurements of the cage so um, one thing that you need to do when you buy this contain like this sort of container and you put earth in it you need to um, aerate the earth you can't just put the earth in there and be good you need to actually put small holes all over the side of the each side of the container so that the that the earth doesn't start molding at the bottom because if there's no airflow towards the earth anywhere it will start rottening and stuff so that's why you can see my soldering iron in the back they're warming up is because I'm gonna punch holes through the plastic with the soldering iron and again the soldering iron is heat so really you don't want that in your um, terrarium so put it away from the heat lamp or the heat mat and I'm gonna put poke sides uh, poke holes all over the side and the bottom and um, really it's simple to do just press the soldering iron into the sides. I'm gonna do that and be right back. I'm not gonna film it since it's really simple to do. Okay, so I'm back and I drilled holes all over this um, Rubbermaid box. I don't know if you can see too well in the video, but there is plenty of holes for aeration everywhere. So next step would be to build a ramp ramp for the tortoise to get up there and I already did this since I didn't want to stop the video again and then start over so here's the ramp I built and pretty much it's just a single piece of wood with a little stopper attached so that you can hang it onto the back there and it won't slide off and really simple to do just get yourself a flat long piece of wood cut it into shape then put um, edges all over this so that the tortoise doesn't have trouble walking up the ramp and then um, yeah pre-drill the holes for this so you don't split the wood screw it on hang it on there and you're done so I'm gonna quit the video now and the next step is gonna um, next clip I'm gonna show you how to work, well, me filling it up and putting it in my tortoise cage. So I'll do that and I'll be right back. So I'm back and I set up her 
um, little tub here with the ramp and everything and I filled it with topsoil and the reason you want to use topsoil or really any type of earth is because that's a substrate tortoises really can burrow themselves in and um, you want something that they can dig in and that won't fall on top of them too easily the only problem I found right now is that the little hab huts actually don't fit on top of there. If I put them on top of there, there would be no way for the tortoise to get in. So I'm thinking right now that I'll just leave it like that, that for digging space. And she'll have a hiding place right there and right there and her sun, her basking spot over here. So I think I'm just going to leave her terrarium like this. I'm just going to back up and give you guys a bigger view. And just leave that up there for herself, for her to dig, or dig around in. And yeah, I think this actually enhanced her cage by quite a lot. So in the comment section, please leave comments on what you think about my new enclosure and about this idea. I really want some feedback on this idea because I think it's a good idea. And um, if you have any concerns about this setup, please let me know. I think I'll cover up this area over here so she won't be able to climb out but yeah thank you for watching if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below thanks well sorry guys I thought I was done but clearly I wasn't because I realized that Patilla just slid down the ramp and wasn't able to get back up so what I did is add little steps for her really just easy nail them on I sanded them down so she can't get injured. So now she should be able to climb up these stairs. Also, did that. That's just temporarily so she won't climb out in the back because she'll realize there's a ceiling. I hope at least that works and I'll find a better looking option in the future. And there's Patilla, just under a heat lamp. I gave her a bit of salad. But yeah, now this is the end of the video and the final setup for now so tell me what you think in the comment section below and thank you for watching